Welcome to this introduction to Amigo, a page set for use within MindExpress. Amigo has been designed for use by literate users with physical access and communication difficulties. Amigo will work with all current access methods such as switch scanning and eye gaze. So the first thing to be aware of is that Amigo is available with different keyboard layouts, including a two-hit version. To open Amigo, simply click on the relevant icon. So, this is the main page of Amigo, and you can scroll through the different apps by selecting the left and right arrows here and here. Now the first thing that you'll probably want to do is to modify the layout to suit your personal needs. In order to do that, go down to Settings and then choose Modify Start Page. Here, it's possible to change the layout of your main page. For example, if you want to hide an icon, you select it and then choose the Show or Hide cell to hide it. If you want to move an app, you select it and then use the Move Left and Move Right cells to move its position. You may, for instance, want to make your text messaging app more available. To do this, just move it towards the top. Once you've finished, press the Home cell and you will see that the text messaging app is nearer to the top. You can enter text into Amigo using the keyboard app. Here you can type in messages. Word prediction is used to help reduce the number of selections you need to make. Once you see the word that you want, you can just select it. If you want to speak a message out, you just select it. I am very happy. As well as word prediction, Amigo has sentence prediction. After selecting the sentence prediction cell, Amigo will start predicting sentences using the word you enter. For example, if you type in coffee, you will be shown sentences to do with coffee, which can then be spoken out. May I have a coffee, please? If you wish to use capital letters, you can press the shift key. If you press the shift key twice in succession, then the shift key is locked until you press it a third time to release it. Another very useful communication feature of Amigo are phrases. Phrases are pre-stored messages that you can use to speak out. They are arranged in different categories. So if you select chat, you have access to different chat phrases that are spoken out immediately when selected. Hello, how are you? More phrase categories can be accessed by selecting the More cell on the right. It's possible to add your own phrases to the different categories. In order to do that, you need to go back to your keyboard page and construct the sentence you want to add. For instance, you might be going to visit your doctor at a later date. You can then go to the category where you want to add your phrase. Then select the Edit List cell. Then choose the Add Message cell to add your phrase into the list. You will now see that your phrase has been added to the list of phrases. Another nice feature with the phrases is that you can edit and create your own categories. To do that, first select the Edit Categories cell. Then, in order to create your own category, choose the Add Category cell. Now type in the name of the category that you wish to create and press the red Confirm cell. Once you have added a category, you can then change its position. For example, you can choose the Top of the Page cell to move it to the top of the list. You can personalise Amigo further by choosing different colour schemes. You can do this by choosing Settings and then selecting the desired colour scheme. For instance, you can use the grey scheme the black and yellow high contrast scheme and finally the lighter coloured pastel scheme. Amigo allows you to change your access method very easily. 
Go to Settings and then choose the Change Access Method cell. Here you can choose Eye Gaze, Mouse and Touch, Dwell Mouse, Switches or Joystick. For example, if you choose Dwell Mouse, which might be used with a head movement tracking device, you will see that you will have a Dwell cursor shown on the cells. When using Dwell, either with head mouse or eye movement tracking, Amigo gives you three different dwell times. So for instance, you can set your normal dwell time here. Then you can set your keyboard dwell time to a faster time. This will become more apparent shortly in this video. You can then set your predictions dwell time to a slower time. Now, when you go to your keyboard page, you will see that the dwell selections made with the letters are faster. Whereas, the prediction dwell times are slower, giving you time to process them before being selected. If you want to use other Windows programs and applications, then Amiga will help you achieve this. For example, if I want to read a book, I can choose the Kindle cell. This will launch the Kindle program on my computer. Each Amigo app is tailored to each Windows program, so here you will see specific commands tailored to the Kindle program. You also have generic Windows control cells, such as the dock option, which then docks the program you are using next to the Amigo page set. So, if you want to choose a book to open, you can show more Kindle controls by selecting the More cell at the bottom of the page and then move the highlighter in Kindle using the cursor controls to highlight the desired book. Then to open the book, select the Open Book cell. Once you have opened a book, you can scroll through your pages using the Scroll Up and Scroll Down cells. If you wanted to view Kindle in full screen mode, you can choose the full screen cell. Once you have finished, you can choose Close Book followed by the Quit Kindle cell to close Kindle down. When using Amigo to control Windows programs, Amigo will adapt itself depending on what access method you are using. So when you choose Switch Access for instance, firstly you are shown specific options to do with that access method. Here you can see specific settings for controlling scan speeds and how the mouse is moved using mouse emulation. This example video is showing someone using two switches to step through the cells with one switch and using a second switch to select. Now, if you go into Windows Control, you will see that the Amigo Control page has added an extra column with cells to allow you to move the mouse cursor around the screen. You can control the speed that the mouse cursor moves in the switch settings page that you saw previously. Once you have the cursor where you want it, you can then choose a mouse action a double mouse click action for instance. Once you have opened your program, you then have full control of that program using switches. Any mouse controls or keyboard presses can all be emulated using the Amigo switch control interface. Once you have finished controlling a program, you can then go back to the main Amigo page using the home button. Amigo allows you to change your input method. It may be that you are getting fatigued using switches and want to use eye gaze access. To do this, go to the change access method on the settings page. There you can choose eye gaze. Once selected, you will then be shown specific settings for that access method, including the option to calibrate your eye gaze. You will also see that the rest cell has been added to all pages, allowing you to pause the eye gaze access at any time. Now, if you go to the Windows Control, you will see that the interface has changed as you now no longer need mouse movement control actions as you are not using switch access. So now, if I wanted to launch the Paint program, you just need to select the double-click icon and then look at the Paint icon on the screen. Then you can dock the program to Amigo. 
If you then want to control your program using left mouse clicks all of the time, you can lock the left mouse click on. So now you can continuously make left mouse click selections using our zoom to click feature. Once you have finished making mouse selections, you can then unlock the left mouse clicks by selecting the left click cell a third time. Often, you may just want to control the mouse cursor without using the zoom to click feature. To turn off zoom to click, select the cell labeled dwell. This will then put Amigo into a look to click mode. You still have access to the mouse click functions including locking the left click. But as you can see, you only get a small dwell cursor rather than the zoom functionality. This is useful for larger targets on the screen and not always appropriate for fine mouse control. But it is very useful to be able to toggle between the two modes. As well as computer access and communication, Amigo also has a calendar app integrated into it so that you can create your own calendar entries. Open your calendar and choose Add to Calendar. Then type in the name of your entry and select the Confirm cell. You can then set the time for your entry and finally choose Add Event. You can also alter the view of your calendar. You can either do a day, week or month view. It's also possible to add an audible alarm with the Add Alarm button. It's also useful to see how you can send and receive emails within Amigo. Firstly, after opening the email app, you can send an email by selecting New Message. You then select who you want to send the email to. It's possible to select multiple recipients if required. Then select Start Message to compose your message. Once you have composed your message, select the Confirm cell. If you wish to add an attachment, you can do so by selecting the Add Attachment cell. And here you can browse through your pictures and select one. Then, in order to send the email, choose the Send button. You will hear an audio alert and have a confirmation message shown on the screen. Any visual alert shown in Amigo will count down and disappear automatically. When an email is received, you will hear an audio alert and also get a visual reminder. You will then see who the email is from and a picture of that person. To open the email, just click on it. There, you can read the content of the email. If there are any attachments to the email, you will be shown a paper clip. To view the attachments, click on the paper clip. This will take you to the attachment viewer. Here you will see that Amigo can display attached images natively. If there are any attachments that Amigo cannot display, in the example here is a PDF file. To view it, all you need to do is select it. Amigo will then hand it over to Windows and launch the Windows control interface. Windows will then decide what program to launch to display the attachment. You can then use the Amigo control keys to control your Windows program. Hopefully, you are beginning to see how versatile Amigo is. There are many more apps and features within Amigo. There is integrated internet browsing, Windows control as you have seen, a YouTube video player, an internet radio page allows you to listen to different radio stations from around the world. You can also listen to your own music and watch your own videos. You can take your own pictures and then view them. There is a calculator and a note taker. For social media, there is access to Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp and Skype. Spotify is also available along with Instagram. Amigo also supports environmental control modules, allowing you to control devices in your home, such as a television. One of the inherent problems when trying to access Windows programs using eye gaze on the same device, is that when you have an on-screen keyboard large enough to be able to accurately select letters, the program you are controlling is often very small. 
To get round this, Amiga has a remote control feature that allows you to connect to another computer wirelessly. This then gives a full screen keyboard to be able to enter text onto another computer. You can also send macros and use word prediction. You also have full mouse control on the other computer. Other applications or apps that you can access are Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Finally, Amigo has different games available within it and because they are in MindExpress they can all be accessed with all of the different input methods supported. Amigo can be used for free within MindExpress. You can try out Amigo by downloading a free 30-day trial of MindExpress from the website shown below.